um, Saturday night, we were together when we, we yeah. saw this news drop. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew Perry, wow, uh, found dead at his L.A. home on Saturday at the age of 54. This one hit a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. An investigation into how Perry died is ongoing. Foul play is not suspected. One of the, um, one of the wilder aspects of this is his last post on Instagram from seven days ago where he was in a hot tub uh, with headphones on. And you can see the moon there behind him. Again, this was uh, from seven days ago. And, uh, you know, Friends is, is one of the biggest shows, dare I say, in the history of television uh, from 1994 to uh, 2004, and Matthew Perry's role in that was undeniable. A lot of people have different emotions here, Meredith. What, what, what ran through your head first? Oh, gosh. I mean, we were out for dinner in Montreal, and uh, and the, the three of us sat there and spoke of all the hilarious episodes that he gave us. Uh, this is um, one of those characters you can't forget, but also he really struggled and struggled publicly, but owned that struggle in a way that I think helped a lot of other people. And the gift of his book that he released recently um, I think is hopefully something that will even surpass his character of Chandler. I mean, he gave us the laughs, but he gave us also so much wisdom and vulnerability and care in that book that um, I know I've been reading, as I'm sure we all have, many quotes from him. Uh, and he, he did give us one that I know when I die, people will talk about friends, 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 and I'm glad of that. But I hope they also speak of, uh, as far as my accomplishments go, how much I was able to help other people. You know, he had the, the Perry house in Malibu for men. Um, and I, I think through his death, hopefully um, people who are going through the struggle that he did um, are, are, are helped um, by the, by the you know, attention that he's brought for sure. to how difficult that is. I 100% agree. I read a tribute from one of his co-stars, Paget Brewster, who said that, yes, Friends is Friends. It is that that is a legacy on its own, but she hopes that his book will be the legacy that even surpasses that just because of the fact that he was so open about his struggles with painkillers, with alcohol abuse, and he, he never shied away from it. Yeah, he went to rehab and that was public and it was known and he did that recovery. He not only wrote about it, but there was a clip of him that I listened to where he just said he hopes that when he dies, that the fact that he helped people overcome or at least come to terms and face their addictions will be the thing that people remember him for. He knows that friends will be what everyone talks about. Mm -hmm. But he really hopes that uh, the help with addiction will be something that he is helped. It, it, it surpasses that, and I really do hope for him that that is. I'm glad we're having that conversation. Yeah, and that we're talking sure. about it. Yeah, that, that is legacy. the conversation on online, uh, mm -hmm. very much so. So uh, it's happening. I think. Friends, past day and present day. I'm still blown away at how many kids are watching Friends. Yeah. Yeah. On the streaming services, yeah. it's it is it is a show that continues to affect people, and you know I think we've all seen some clips kind of moving around social media. The one, the one that got me was uh, Matthew Perry on a stage in front of an audience was talking about why he doesn't watch the show back. Mm. And he could pinpoint by the season what drug he was taking. Mm. You could tell in his face. No one at home could tell. I don't know if cast members could, probably. But it was to, to listen to him, and I would, I would highly suggest people do it, to listen to him talk about his difficulties with sobriety was, was stunning because it was with a clarity that you don't hear from people who have had that kind of struggle. Mm -hmm. um, but he's, and, and I know that, listen, Friends, like you said, like we all know, that was the ticket, million dollars an episode by the end of that. And the remaining five main uh, co-stars, they, they have not said anything yet. No. We are expecting a joint statement very soon from the rest of the cast who are completely uh, shattered by this. Um, but it was, uh, you know, it was a show that really, really mattered to a lot of people. And Matthew Perry, as an actor, you know, the show meant a lot, but he also was nominated for Emmys for his role in The West Wing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a show that I, have, I haven't completely finished, but is amazing by all accounts. Comedy at his level is very, very difficult to pull off. And the way he did it opened up a new kind of genre of TV comedy, and he should be applauded for that. It is a very sad story that someone that successful and someone that loved 
had to go down the roads, the roads he, he felt he needed to go down. But if anyone can learn something from this, if anyone can grab some type of inspiration in terms of how he tried to fight it, I think, uh, you know, I think that's a positive thing. But it was a sad 54 years old. You know, that's it's it's incredible. It's one of the biggest TV shows of all time. And uh, and Canadian kid like grew, Canadian up, kid. grew up in Ottawa. Yeah. There's yeah. a Canadian uh, connection there, too. Mom yeah. was a communications director for mm. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Yeah. So, I mean, our prime minister released a statement. Yeah. Yeah. Too. They went to school, school together. School together. Yeah. 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 Um, so it, it's affected a lot of people at Breakfast TV. Let us know. Uh, some of your memories of Matthew Perry, one of the one of the funniest people I've ever seen on television, on one of the biggest shows we've ever seen. Uh, devastating news over the weekend.